all right so let's talk about functions right so this is a very simple hello world function that we have written in typescript and the syntax is very simple you need to use the keyword function and then the name of function and then you need to have uh, round brackets and then in curly braces you need to have the statements which you want to execute or which you want to write in the function it can have multiple statements as well for example i am using this log statement three times here now to call the function you just need to use the name of the function and then round brackets and then this semicolon and you can see it prints the output if you execute it as is without calling the function it won't do anything because you have just defined the function but you are not calling it so that code is never get executed so this is a very plain or a basic function that we have written in typescript now we'll talk about function with arguments so let's say we need to create a function to add two numbers so i just name the function as sum of two and to give the arguments to the function right when you will be calling you need to give two values to it and these values would come here in these arguments so the first argument is x and second one is y and i declare them as number so i give the type as number for both and if i do console.log x plus y it will print on console the value which is sum of these two all right right now i'm not returning anything i'm just printing on console the result so to call the function i can use sum of two which is the name of the function and i pass two arguments which are 10 comma 20. now if you run this you will get the output as 30. okay so this is how we can call functions with arguments next we talk about functions with a return type okay so let's say we want to generate a random number so i just give the name of function as get random number and i am not giving any arguments to it but a return type i give here after the round brackets so colon number and then in curly braces you need to return the value so for instance i am not returning the random number i am just returning one just to complete the function so it will be returning one as a value and if i do console.log get random number which is the name of the function it will always return one to me because i have hard coded this value all right so let us try this and then we'll update the function with the code that generates the random value okay so to generate the random value we already have an inbuilt function in math so math dot random would generate the random value so i just replace this one with math dot random okay ultimately this is also a function so i need to use these round brackets after random so if i print the value here you can see it is 0 0.258 and if you want to have an integral value what you need to do is you multiply it by 100 and then round it to the next uh, nearest integer okay so math math dot round and then this random number multiplied by 100 now if you run you would see the values between 0 and 100 all right so you can run it as many times and always it will be giving you a random value now let's say we need a function that takes some arguments do some processing and we also define that this should return a numeric or a string value right so return type we are also defining while defining the function so let's say the function is get sum so get sum a let's say is a number b which is a second number again i uh, define the type here as number and this is for the return type so column number and then in curly braces let's say i want to return a plus b okay so this function has both return type as well as arguments now let's say uh, i just create a variable so let answer or i just use ans equals get sum and i pass two values to it let's say 110 and i run this or let's say i print on console the value of this answer so if i run this i should get 110 as a value so let me refresh this so that i can see the logs if i run this okay so now you can see it is 110 all right so this is the function which is having both arguments as well as return type now you, you can see one more thing here if i change this return value to a string value i just hard code this to let's say camel so it gives me error that this function was supposed to return a number because you have defined it very clearly that its return type should be number but now you are returning a string so this would give you error okay
So now let's say we update this function with another thing. Let's say uh, we have another argument which is C, but at times we are not sure that user can give two or three arguments. All right. So this third one is optional argument. So this function is function with two mandatory and third one as optional argument. Okay. So what we do is for optional arguments, we need to use question mark colon number, right? And then in the code, we can define it clearly that if C is not undefined, in that case, add up three numbers. Otherwise, just add up these two numbers. So we can use if else and otherwise, since you are already returning the value above, so you can directly uh, return the value here as return A plus B instead of using the else block. Okay. So when we do 10 comma 100 and 200 here as well. So for 10 comma 100, it would give 110. And for the second one, it should give us 310. Let's run this and we have both the values. All right. So the function is now accepting two and three arguments. And the third one is optional for us. All right. So now this one is also not very useful in this context because when we do some, we are not sure how many numbers we are going, going to add. Right. So if you don't know the number count, you cannot make indefinite numbers here as optional. Right. So you need something which takes as many arguments you can pass. All right. So in Python, we used to have args and where args concept but here in typescript we have this rest parameters concept and you can give these parameters with three dots and then you need to pass these numbers as an array so the type of this is number array and i just use the nums as the name and return type let's say is number so let ans which is answer uh, call a number equals zero right so the sum i'm going to store in this variable later by iterating through each of them one by one and then adding up in this variable so for let item of let's say this nums or instead of this item i can use number so for each number in these numbers i am going to add them to this answer so that i can get the sum in the end all right so i use this answer equals answer plus num all right so every time i'm going to add the number in it and ultimately i'm going to get the sum in this variable which is answer All right so outside the for loop what i can do is i can simply return the value of answer now it is time to use this function so i use console.log and then inside the log i use the function name get sum and i try to pass a number of arguments here so let's say i do two numbers here and I just copy and paste multiple times with different numbers here. All right. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And you can see here, I can take any number of arguments I want. Right. So randomly I have taken one, two, three and more arguments as well. Right. So you will get the sum of all these without even declaring those optional arguments or other concepts. All right. So I think it should be very clear to you now and we'll move on to the next lecture.